right. This is not happening. Hey guys, this is your boy The Evolution Reviews and Gaming, and please if you're new, hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. This is my spoiler-free review of The Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw. I was always a gigantic fan of the song that I was playing in the Hobbs and Shaw trailer. I liked it so much that I put it in all my intros, and I promised myself once this movie comes out, I'll make a final intro with that song in it, especially made for this movie. I also made a very cool outro for this movie too. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get right into it. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro and please stay tuned for the outro. The Fast and Furious movies is always that one thing that once you hear another one's coming out, you're like, finally, something good to watch. I never realized how much of a good idea it was to make a buddy cop movie out of Luke Hobbs and Deckard Shaw. In fact, it actually was Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham who pitched the idea to Universal about a buddy cop movie. And they were the biggest producers of Hobbs and Shaw, but you cannot walk into this film thinking of a realistic movie. If you walk in just to see the Wingerog Johnson flex and see Jason Statham shoot people, you're in for a very fun time. And that's basically what Hobbs and Shaw is all about, a fun time. But this movie definitely had some flaws in it that I really want to address that actually annoyed me, but I want to get into that later. I want to get into the positives first. The best thing about this film has to be the bickering between Hobbs and Shaw. The Rainbow Rock Johnson and Jason Statham have amazing chemistry and that's what really builds up this movie. In all seriousness, without them, this movie's not going anywhere. They honestly carried this film. Actually, surprisingly, the comedy was really on point. I noticed it right away when jokes weren't really landing because they are trying way too hard to be funny, but most of it is pretty darn hilarious actually. Also, by the way, there's some seriously surprising cameos of certain comedians that pop up during the movie. They highlighted the scenes they were in and made it so much better. I really did not see that coming and neither will you. They made the movie so much better. Also, Vanessa Kirby as Shaw's sister was scarcely extremely perfect casting. If someone walked up to me and said that Vanessa Kirby was actually Helen Marin's daughter, I wouldn't really think twice about it. She looks strangely perfect for the role. Now this is what you call a strong female character. This is how you do it. She kept up with Doreen Deron Johnson and Jason Statham when it comes to beating the crap out of somebody. She played the White Widow in Mission Impossible Fallout and she did great in that movie too. But I agree that she had so much more to do in this movie and was just so much more of a likable character. She fit into the Shaw family and the Fast and Furious universe so perfectly, I can't wait to see more of her character. And another thing. Gorgeous, by the way. And here we get into the negatives. As much as I like the Fast and Furious movies doing all these heists and stunts like that, like I said before, it is not realistic. Some of the things and stunts that they do in this movie is physically impossible. As much as it's cool to see The Rock jump off a building and land on the ground with absolutely no support, and attaching trucks to each other while moving and getting shot by people and missiles getting shot at you by a freaking helicopter, 
the child in me is like awesome but in reality i'm just like really like i said it's for entertainment purposes and i enjoyed it i just at the end of the day i'm just like guys this isn't real but i gotta say the biggest downfall of this movie has to be idris elba playing a robotic cyborg terminator I enjoyed Idris Elba's performance and I didn't mind the unrealistic route they're going with his character. He's supposed to be this unstoppable robotic killer and he seems that way on the motorcycle. But the problem is the way they used him in the fight scenes between Hobbs and Shaw. I honestly thought in all seriousness it was just straight out trash in my opinion. I was so excited to see the fight scenes between all three of them when I really wanted to know how he was going to take the both of them but just punching them really far doesn't make it really cool of a fight scene. And another thing that sucked is on the trailer you see him taking them both on on the truck but in the movie they just cut it up so fast and ended the fight I'm just like are you serious? Now don't get me wrong I liked his character in the movie he's supposed to be this super soldier but the stuff he does in the movie doesn't really scream superhuman. Now he does show signs of super strength in one or two scenes but barely. Most of the time he does what a normal human would do and that was kind of disappointing and it does hurt the score of the movie. But anyway guys, speaking of the rating of the movie, my honest opinion of the Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw is... Eh, it is so not bad. A nice crispy B+. Yeah, I'm actually so glad they're the ones that got their own spinoff because it really works. But I also heard that Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham are not returning to play their characters in Furious 9. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you're new, hit that like, comment, subscribe. I love ya. And I'm out ya. Tell me this is not happening.